The good news for all of us with ulcerative colitis is that new research is being done every single day. I think it's important to participate in research studies because they don't take a lot of time and they're really beneficial. It's important to understand the tremendous amount of research that's underway concerning inflammatory bowel disease. We're looking at bone density in children with inflammatory bowel disease. And research is a great opportunity for people to play a role in the efforts to get a better understanding of the disease. Each of these studies that are underway are all opportunities for patients to play an active role in the research progress that's going to push ahead the envelope and improve therapy. Before we begin, I just need to have you guys sign a consent form, okay? okay that explains. We review the protocol with the family and the child, and we ask if they have any questions. We discuss the details of the study, the kinds of tests that are going to be performed, and then we ask them to sign an informed consent form. I thought it was important because they were trying out different meds that would treat the illness better. I felt that we really didn't have anything to lose if we were tr trying to find out a better way of dealing with this. And then this is the camera. I'm just going to kind of come up your body just a little bit. There's a lot of research currently being conducted in inflammatory bowel disease, both ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. The major area is genetics because that's the area which most people find the biggest challenge. Most of the research that's going on relates to susceptibility genes. These are abnormalities or changes in gene structure that occur in people who have inflammatory bowel disease. Other areas of research that are of interest at the moment are abnormalities in the immune system that predispose people to having inflammatory bowel disease and the bacteria in the intestine that may actually participate in stimulating the inflammation. The way we approach the patients is either to send a mailing directly to our patients or to post the study in the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation website or newsletter, or in some situations to advertise them in the local newspapers. I think there's every reason to anticipate that we'll have better, more effective, safer medications to treat our patients with in the years to come and probably change the quality of life in these patients in a very positive way. We really desperately need a partnership between the patients and the physicians for studies of inflammatory bowel disease. Our hope is that the future of IBD research will provide new treatments, new understanding of disease mechanisms, and ultimately either a permanent control or a cure for these inflammatory diseases that can be so disrupting of children's lives.